Hello, welcome pen friends. Welcome to the first progress report. Um, this is a video kind of series that I'm going to be doing in conjunction with Chris's inked pens, where right about the middle of the month or so, I'll come back on and we'll get to intensively look at the progress, you know, how I'm doing with each of my inked pens, because I feel like I'm not able to give it enough time when I do that the following month I do show you the report card and we'll still do that but I kind of like this idea of uh, checking in in the middle of the month I've written quite a few letters already um, this month is really really unique January 2021 because I'm writing with five pens that I didn't even own prior to December of 2020 so <laughs> I hardly ever do that I hardly ever um, start using new pens all at once like that like I usually will ink up seven old favorites and one new one but I really wanted to try them you know they were really really surprises uh, all except for the the Ahab and uh, because I knew about that that was one I requested did and my husband got for me but everything else all the other new ones were really surprises to me so what we'll do um I've got the tile the ink tiles handy because the ink has a lot to do with what's going on in each pen of course and how things are going and I can kind of guess at this point as to some of the goings-ons and uh, why it may be happening or not happening but uh, this I won't be giving grades yet I'll just be telling you how it's going so I think we'll switch the shot now and do let me know in the comments after you watch the video if you like this um, I think it may especially you know help me to um to really focus on these eight pens because let me tell you there's several that I want to ink up right now but I'm still learning these pens and I, um even when I'm not learning uh about a pen I'm learning about how that pen and the ink combination that I chose that month how it works so I think it helps a lot for me especially with the way my brain works to focus on the eight inked pens and I've got a couple with gray ink that I'm using in my journals um and just thinking about doing this video made me realize yeah there's a lot going on just with what I have inked up and so I'd like to share it with you so here goes Okay, so I've got everything I need here. I've got my eight inked pens, the eight ink tiles, so we can kind of refresh on what's in each one of them. And then I've got my Bond Travel Gear ink journal. And in here, this is 68 uh, GSM Tamoy River paper. This is where I'll do the report card and show you um, when I show you my February inked pens. But I just, I found a page that I had skipped before and I think it's gonna be fine uh, for just to, kind of do this progress report so I'm gonna oh, oh sorry about that noise that was ugly okay I'm gonna push that out of the way and then um, so the first combination for January 2021 is the lovely Twisby uh, VAC 700 R uh, iris and I am in love with this pen really to be honest when I first got it it was a gift from a pen friend I thought oh it's over my head I've never had a vac filler like this um I, I have had a Chinese one um and I didn't really have any trouble with it but I felt intimidated by this pen let's put it this way and I don't know why it's got a broad nib on it it's gorgeous I just felt like maybe I didn't know enough um so I've learned to to open up the little knob there and write with it um it's hard for me to write and talk so let me just put this we're going to put progress report i used to get progress reports for my son when he was in school <laughs> so january 2021 okay so this has been the first one we'll i'll just uh probably be a lot more talking than writing on this so i filled it with bunga box lamont because i'm familiar with the ink it's a nice flowing ink it's a beautiful beautiful purple um and the first let me cap it because i'm going to talk for a minute i uh <clears throat> when i first inked it up i didn't try doing it the, the way it should be done i went ahead and used a a syringe to fill it and then i dipped the nib and i, I went fine for a little while a page and a half or two pages and then it quit writing and I thought oh and then I, I clued in that I hadn't opened the knob for one thing and 
so I tried again and the same thing happened. And I thought, oh no, oh no, I, you know, it's that same old story. It's a new pen. I don't have the, you know, I haven't learned it yet. But then I decided to just take the ink out and just ink it the way it um, should be, you know, by... <laughs> by doing it the way I've watched the videos on how to do it. I'm not going to demonstrate here. Uh, and then I have had no trouble since. So it could have been that I just kept it too long closed, let it let the nib dry, because this ink will dry if it's just left without a flow. So anyway, I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm probably sounding like a kindergartner right now, because I really haven't had one like this where you had to open the knob. This is the first one. But it has been wonderful so far. And I've used, it really filled well, too. It filled better than I expected that it would. Um, so, um, it just, there's no problems right now. It's, it's looking like an A-plus to me now that I've worked out my issues with it. <clears throat> so this is the uh, Twisby. It's a juicy nib. It's a broad nib. And it's broader, really, than the other Twisby nibs. Either that or this ink is influencing that. So I have to realize this is my first ink to try in it. <clears throat> Back 700R, Iris, with a broad nib. And Bunga Box, Lamont. <clears throat> I just, I love it. I don't know, you know, I'm not grading here, but I'm just <clears throat> telling you my experiences and, and it has been wonderful. It is the go-to pen in this, uh, in these eight for letter writing right now because it just is so juicy and it's purple. So I've, it, those of you who I've managed to get a letter to this month, um, or maybe it's still in the mail because things have been wacky, uh, I have been leading with this one. <clears throat> Okay, my second uh, combination for this month is the Opus 88 Coloro, Coloro with, um, and it's the red, and it has a medium nib on it, and it's an eyedropper fill pen. I can't remember where I saw that this should also be um, open a little while you're writing, or um, anyway not while you're flying. So I'm showing kind of my rustiness. I, I, I just haven't taken the time to slow down and watch another video or two, but I will be. Um, that's why I generally don't try this many brand new to me pens because I kind of, I've been really busy so far this month and I've managed to write letters in the morning. So um, this is really interesting. Um, this is the ink, the Robert Oster Antelope Canyon Pen Chalet Exclusive. This is another pen friend gift that I got in December. Um, and it, it's just got a really smooth medium nib. Let's see, make sure I'm holding it right. With my glasses situation, I don't always work well around the tripod. It's really, really smooth. And uh, when it first starts writing, it's super flowy and the ink lays down real good. I have had a little bit of issues with um, where I felt like it faded after a while. And I, I, I couldn't get even ink flow the way I'd like. But I really believe it's probably operator error and or uh, the ink pen combination because I don't know whether th this ink is brand new to me. I haven't run it through the usual tests that I do uh, where I could, I would probably get a little more familiar with whether or not it was dry or not. <clears throat> and I, I just don't know. Some Robert Oster inks tend to be dry, even though they're gorgeous and wonderful and all that. I'm not putting them down, but okay. So this is Opus 88. <clears throat> name that I don't like to pronounce, in red, with a medium nib. And you see, I mean, maybe you don't, maybe I'm not showing you close enough, but it, it puts the ink down really, really good, nice and wet, and it's super smooth, like, I, and I just, I absolutely love the quality of the feed. That's something that I noticed right away. It, it's not cheap. It, well, and it's not a cheap pen either, but I mean, it just, wow, that's so neatly made. And the fact that it holds so much ink, the eyedropper, I love it. I love it. And so I'm hoping that I work out the, uh, the flow issues that I'm having. And I don't think it's the pen. I really don't. I just have an instinct about that. Robert Oster, Antelope. Canyon. The other thing is, when I was writing a letter the other day, I was telling the person, I generally write super fast. And so, you know, I, 
when I'm writing cursive, that's when I notice that, well, I'll get like down here and it'll be like, oh, it's a lot lighter than it was up here. And I mean, we always see that a little bit when you first start writing the first line or two, maybe you might see that. But I like with the uh, Twisby Iris, I notice that it stays really consistent now. But I've figured out, you know, exactly how much to open the little knob and, you know, I think it's me. I really do. And also, I'm really excited to try a different ink in here. Just, you know, that's a curiosity that I have about it. But I absolutely love this pen. I, I love the, uh, the way it's made, the eyedropper aspect of it, the fact that they sell the uh, nib units so you can uh, twist the nib unit out and switch it. And so for less than or around $20, you can go ahead and get like I'm thinking right away broad nibs. So that's really neat. So, you know, this is this is looking great, too. I'm really happy with it. Uh, the other I'm thinking I can either slow down with my writing. I can switch inks. There's a lot of things that I can try that I will want to do. <clears throat> I will want to try to see how how things go. OK, so the next pen is one that I've written with forever. So this is my Lamy Vista that I have reviewed, you know, <laughs> dozens of inks. I don't know exactly how many. And I put Diamine Kelly Green in it. The ink was a, a ink sample gift from a pen friend. And this has been going really well. Uh, really well. It's medium. To me, it's a medium saturation. Um, like, or it's it's not the darkest color it's a bright color um and i really like it so lamy vista there were no absolutely nothing i needed to learn about the pen so that <laughs> that's a relief with a broad i put a broad nib in it and diamine kelly green and it's neat because i love the way it looks next to the uh, Bunga Box Lamont. So in letters, now I don't know whether technically it should go together, but oh, it just complements so well. So that has come up a few times in letters. So yeah, I'm super happy with this and nothing really to have to learn there. So that's good. Okay. And then uh, next up is the Ferris Wheel Press, a brush pen. And the Spring Violet, I think is the name. Oh, I put the boxes away. I got real fancy and put the boxes away. So let me flip over and see. Oh, I didn't even write the color name. Well, that's, that's it's something like that. <laughs> I will make sure it's correct in the description box. This is the one that apparently fell into my order and, and ended up being able to keep it, so. It's a beautiful pen and it's a cartridge converter pen. No, nope, nothing to learn there. And uh, I did smooth the nib a little because I don't like any feedback at all. I like uh, fire hose nibs. So, <laughs> uh, so, and it's really, really, really smooth. It, it wasn't, it was smooth before I started, but now it's just super, I mean, I just, it, tuned up the flow. It made it just perfect for me, I guess. And and I don't know, I just go until it feels just right. So, and I have a lot of confidence in this ink that I know how it behaves. So that's what I put in it. <clears throat> so this is Ferris wheel, press, brush, fountain pen. Uh, oh, and it is a fine. <laughs> so I guess we'll just use that for both with Roar and Klinger, Casia. Oops, again, my glasses. I'm looking over the top of my reading glasses. Um, I don't know what else to say about this. I really like it, um, and it lives in the Knox Seed, and it's just real elegant and pretty. I never would have bought it because it's out of my price range, uh, but, I, but it's really going well. So, Okay, next up is the lovely, uh, my favorite pen from last year, and uh, is the Twisby Eco in the rose gold and white with a stub nib, a 1.1, and Pure Pens Porth, Porth Kernel Cove. Okay, here's where I had a little bit of... That was Manuel's talking clock. <laughs> I had um, a little bit of an issue where... I was so spoiled with how um, Diamine Aqua Lagoon flowed out of this pen 
so I knew what it was capable of and now I'm not finding that kind of flow with this ink but Diamine Aqua Lagoon is very flowy so I'm not trying to ding this ink I'm not trying to say this is a dry ink I don't know enough about it yet but um, I definitely notice it and this is on Tamoy River paper writing letters so it's just something that I notice I don't at first you know when I first start you know it comes gushing out it's it's maybe it's again the speed of my writing that's something to think about but I didn't I didn't have a moment's hesitation with uh, Diamine Aqua Lagoon in this one so it didn't feel ever dry even after I had written and written you know the whole page uh, rose gold and white with a 1.1 stub like I say and in the letters if you have a letter from me with this you'll notice the first couple of lines look nice and saturated and then kind of goes downhill so who knows I don't know if anybody else has had that um, that happen so that's with this one and with this one I've had like where it's like whoa hey it was really good and then yeah <laughs> gave up on me or something maybe I went too quick Horth Colonel. Oh, that's the mail truck. <clears throat> I just heard a door slam. So I prefer Diamine Aqua Lagoon, but in this pen, in this one, I'd like to see this in a broad, broad nib now. So that's where I'm at with that one. Okay, <laughs> here's the here's the really aggressive ink, the uh, Notorious Noodlers King Philip Requiem. Actually, I, I really love this, but it, it is definitely hardy. It goes right through just about everything. And in the uh, King Philip Ahab, so with a non-flex medium nib, someone asked me it, why, why on earth I would like that. I'm not really sure, except that I do, I like it. It feels to me like I'm getting uh, somewhere between a medium and a broad uh, experience with this nib. And I just so far have not had a good experience with the flex. Noodler's, uh, you know, the, the nib that comes on these, which is a flex nib. I mean, I've tinkered and moved it around and in and out and tried, but oh, oh my goodness. Anyway, I didn't have a good luck yet with that, so, but I'm not going to give up. So this is Noodler's Ahab in the King Philip color with a medium non-flex. I'm not picking this up as much as I probably should be. Let's see if it's already gone ahead and done it. Okay, for letter writing, I'm using 52 GSM. This is 68 GSM, and I'm only, I'm not seeing uh, bleeding. I'm just seeing just a little shadowing. So who knows? We'll check it again after a minute and see um, with noodlers. I have used it on some letters, but what I have to do is kind of worry about whether it's going to show through because I use both sides of my paper most of the time. <clears throat> Philip Requiem. This is such a wet writer that I don't think I'd need such a wet ink in order for it to look nice. So I look forward to trying some other inks with this. It's going to be nice with this setup, with this pen and nib and everything. Let's take a look inside to see how things are going. Oh, I've used more than I thought because I filled that almost all the way up. It's a, wow, okay. It puts down a lot of ink, I'll tell you that much. Probably should have eyedroppered it, but ooh, I got some, a little ink in the cap. I'm gonna be going over to the sink to clean that out. I don't like to have that happening, but it did. Okay, we got two more. So next up is uh, the Lamy All-Star in the Vibrant Pink. Uh, I've got a broad nib on here. And I have got Diatremenus Purple Violet. I love this. This is one of those that I can already predict is probably going to have an A+. <clears throat> Lamy All-Star. Vibrant Pink. Broad nib. D at Tremendous. Last time I mangled the spelling on that. Purple Violet. This is a sample, but oh, it's a pretty ink. 
I can't get a bottle because I have too many bottles of ink. But <laughs> I can remember this and hopefully it'll be around after I empty some other purple bottles. This is really pretty and it's turning up a lot in letters and yeah, I really like it. I really like the combination. I, I'm sure any of my safaris or my necks or any, any Lamy with a broad nib, I'm going to like the, the purple violet. It's, it just it lays the ink down really wet too. Let me see if, I don't know if we're getting, no, darn it. I like to be able to show that it's still drying. It's still very much wet. So anyway, here we go. Okay, so one more. Uh, now, pen number eight is also a new to me this time, a, a pen friend gift. And this is the Caveco Lilliput in the Fire Blue. Now, I love this little pen. The only thing is, uh, if I'm just jotting notes, the, the posting it, it takes time and I'm kind of impatient. I, I'm thinking about uh, how quick some of the other little pens are. But the, uh, the, the other favorite pocket pen is the Moon Man Mini and that has a screw to post as well. And, you know, it's about the same thing, so... And, but this is, this is really smooth. I'm really pleased with the nib. It's, um, I have those Caveco Perkios and I haven't had any trouble with those, but the one Caveco Sport I had kind of ruined me because it took me a whole weekend to smooth out the baby's bottom and I got unlucky that time. And it was really early on too. So I kind of have that in the back of my mind. Is it gonna write? But it sure does. It's a medium nib, so it's Caveco Lily put medium fire blue with a Caveco midnight blue cartridge. Now, I'm not picking it up as much, but I'm using it like in my eating um, the food and health record thing at the table because I have my pen case right over there by me at, at the kitchen table a lot that's in the winter that's where I write my letters more um, and it's it's a nice writer but I think um, you know for short sessions it's better because it's got a very uh, narrow section but it's just a neat little pocket pen just really really nice I can't see myself taking it to the grocery store though there's no way I would get frustrated with the uh, uh, this, you know, and then, yeah, so, but that's okay. I take my pockets to the grocery store, my little, uh, they're, they're just ballpoint pens, but anyway, don't, don't, uh, don't throw me under the bus. I'll, I usually take care of that myself. Okay, so that is where we're at. It's kind of looking like we got two pens that are competing. They've got beautiful purple inks, the uh, Twisby Vac 700R. And the Lamy All Star have just gorgeous, you know, broad nibs on them with a beautiful purple ink, and oh boy, just really hit the spot for the letter writing. So those are kind of like, to me in my mind, and unless something changes, they're tying for like an A plus. And then I'm super enjoying um, this Kelly Green, Diamond Kelly Green. It's gorgeous. It really is, and it, it like it gives just a little hint that spring will come eventually. <laughs> it's probably not the color for January, but it certainly goes really well with all these purples and pretty much gets along with everything this month. So, um, let's see. Really, there aren't any failures. This would be the closest to a, a dud that I'm getting only because it just seems as if that it just doesn't flow the same way the Dimine Aqua Lagoon did. And so that memory spoiled me. I mean, I can slow down. I can do, you know, I can write slower, maybe even print. Because sometimes lately I've been printing part of my letters and I notice, oh, that, the printing looks better than like quick chicken scratch. So I don't know. Something to think about. Oop, okay, I've kind of gone as long as I wanted to go because um, I'm going to, I'm kind of determined to splice the two videos together and add words to my video because this is 2021 and this is ridiculous that I haven't already figured that out. So what do you think? Um, how is it going for you? Do you have any that you had to sort of empty out and give up on yet? Or I haven't had that. 
and I'm really pleased with what's going on. I reckon this pen is the one I most need to learn more about, which is a great thing because there's lots of videos. I have just been super busy this week or I would have been on there watching videos, um, you know, about this because I, I want to learn more about how to control that ink flow with this pen. If you know anything about that <laughs> and you don't, and you have time on your hands, shoot me a, a comment or something. But other than that, it's just, oh, wow. It's really good. My, it's helping improve my focus by keeping it to eight pens. So I'll let you go for now, but I'd love to hear from you in the comments. And uh, uh, everybody just take care, stay safe, and have a great uh, week coming up. Whatever happens out there, let's let's uh, let's be be love, joy, peace, and all good things inside as much as we can. Okay, but bye for now.